All right, guys, I got a very cool lock here. I don't know what kind it is. Probably an Asa or a Ruko, but it's from Bjarn, uh, who is, by the way, a locksmith that is a challenge lock, and he epoxied these very intimidating-looking icons on top. Like, probably to put a curse on me, and that would be me right there in the middle, surrounded by, uh, by uh, bones and skulls. Anyway... Take a look at the lock. Here's what the keyway looks like. And there is what the key looks like. So very challenging, even if it is a challenge lock, that's precisely what we'd be looking for. I decided to give it a try before I tried to pick it. And when I slid it in there and then tried to turn it, it didn't work. So I got to look in and I, see, I noticed that Bjorn has stamped on this made in Denmark. And I got to thinking, you know, there's a lot of Denmarks, and maybe this is not Denmark, South Carolina, or Wisconsin, or Denmark, Tennessee, or Maine. It's probably not even Denmark, Indiana. So I took a look at his card here, and I saw Herlev, which is, of course, northwest of Copenhagen. Everybody knows that. And that would be on the island of Old Zealand, not New Zealand. And what that means to everybody is that uh, this is on the wrong side of the planet. Uh, if this were actually located in Erlev, where it was constructed, this wouldn't be the top. That would be the bottom. So it would be already like that. And then, of course, it works beautifully. So my theory, I have two of them actually, is that um, Bjarn has taken advantage of Denmarkian gravity when he built this. Either that or maybe he forgot to put a spring in it. Either way... Let's go ahead and get it clamped up, see if we can't figure out how to pick this darn thing. All right, guys, here we go. Attempt number four. Still works perfect. Still key retaining. Still got the nasty curse key, and it's turning into be a curse, I tell you. The previous attempts, three of them, 10 minutes each, all failures, uh, have to do with tensioning, believe it or not. I just can't seem to get the feel for this with some pins with uh, springs and others Apparently without so I'm oversetting an awful lot here All right, so here we go again very light tension I think that was pin one, but he didn't click he just kind of Slid up and then uh, He stopped moving so I'm just assuming that that's Where we want to be he's the only binder All right, let's recock and start this fresh. Light tension, get in there. And then I hit a binder in the back. Let me get under him. There's a very slight feedback on the tensioner on this one. And I do get a click off him, but then I still can't get the pick under him. I'm going to quit trying to mess with him then. Okay, there we go. That was pin three, a little counter rotation, like a little spool. I think one is still up. I'm going to have to get under that pin. It's pin four. Just There we go. I'm getting counter rotation as I try to get under him. Get under there. Get under there. I'm going to slide down the bottom. If I get the pick out. Slide down the bottom of the keyway. And then curl around behind him. So check the pin back there. I think we're good. I'm going to slide him out the same way. I'm getting a little bit of counter rotation right there on pin two. And I got to click on him, but no deeper fault set. There's pin two again. He's still apparently not set. Got another click off of him. Okay, that's pin three, counter rotation. And lost 
false set. Might have just overset. There it is, pin two again. Come on. All right, we got a solid click, but I lost the false set. There it is, pin four, counter rotation, very crunchy. Got a good fault set going at this point. Probably the deepest one I've had so far. Pin one is still okay, two is okay. There he is, pin three again, very slight counter rotation. Got a click and it stopped. No, it didn't. It's still there. Come on. Come on. Okay. I think I set him, but I lost the false set at this point. two again. There we go. Thank God. <laughs> I, guys, I think there's an awful lot of T-pins in this and probably more than one with no, uh, with no spring in it. It is really hard to get feedback on this thing. Asa pins would be my bet. Which, if I was a locksmith in Norway, that's what I would be using. Oh, I'm sorry, in Dor Denmark. Oh, boy. Ugh. All right, there we go. I pulled that out earlier. I did take a look to see what size we're going to be needing here. And it's already loose. I did not take this apart. But that was not tight. All right, no need. Let's get this stuff out of the way. We do have the key. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Let's get a penny tray and a Phillips. Let's lock it up. Now that is super tight. And that's because we had some Loctite on it. And this one too. John, you didn't want this to come apart before it's time, did you? Whoops. Too small to hold today. All right, looks like we have an opportunity for some sidebars here. I don't know if they're in it, but that's, I believe, what these are for. Okay, I'm going to turn it like that, and hopefully this will be the right size. Okay, we got a lot of, it is a high quality lock. Um, we got a lot of anti-drill, one on right there on next to my right thumbnail and one right up here in the front to keep them going in that way. Standard, 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 standard. There better be something other than standard in here. And there's not, every single one of these is standard. And every single one of these is threaded. 
Yep. Great. Okay, we have another anti-drill here, but it looks like we're missing the two, or maybe they're in there and I just can't see them. I'm trying to avoid, oh, they're in there. They're, they're buried in the top, but they, they are. There's at least one on the left side. I don't see one on the right side. Doesn't affect us for picking. It's just interesting, that's all. All right, the first one is a threaded chamber, but I see no pin. This may be the one that has no spring. Or maybe there's nothing in it. Chamber one doesn't appear to have anything in it. It is threaded, and I see no reason for it to be threaded because the key pin is a standard key pin. All right, chamber two. Asa. And I see a spring here. And it is an Asa spring. All right, chamber three is nothing but a spring. I didn't see any pin come out of it. And it is a tiny spring, and it looks like it's threaded. So, another spring has popped up. Okay, there were two springs in there. I'm going to set this down and turn off my dehumidifier. Hold on just a sec. Sorry about that. I forgot to turn it off before we got started on this. Actually, it took a lot longer than I thought. Okay, where were we? Number four. All right, we do have another ASA with a T-pin-like top. Actually, that spring was right there. We had two springs and no driver. There is a spring in there. He just doesn't want to come out. All right, number five. Another Asa. And another, there he is, Asa spring. Number four spring still in place. And the last one, a commercial spool. And there's a, actually there's a spring in there. I'm not sure if that's a pin or I can't tell without the light. It's just a spring, okay. All right, we're still missing one spring. It just doesn't want to come out of there. And there he is. All right, you can see from the bottom, two of them are threaded, number one and number three. All right, let's take a look at this. What was going on here? In number one, let me get a pick here. Kind of an odd setup. In number one, we had only a key pin, no spring, no driver. Number two is kind of what we would expect. We have a very long key pin, and then we had an ASA spool with the ASA spring. Number three, we had a key pin, no no drivers, but we had two springs. This one in the bottom, and then this little guy here on top. And you can see, if you look at that spring, I probably caught him in the shear line at least once because he's kind of twisted a little bit. Okay, number four, standard setup. We have a, a uh, spool pin with T's on both ends and a standard spring from ASA. ASA pin and a standard key pin, standard key pin here, and a spool. These two kind of bother me. This makes, to me, this is definitely not a, I even hesitate to call this a valid challenge lock. The key did work perfectly when it was oriented with the Bible pointing up, 
but when the Bible down, it didn't want to work. Anyway, it did. I did get a pick. Jarn, nasty, nasty from Denmark. Appreciate you sending the lock in. I will put it back together and get it back to you, sir. Everybody else, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Stay away from Jarn's locks.